What is up everybody and welcome to game 162 of Let's Play Elite Champion for today's game. I'm going to be playing as Pantheon in the top lane versus an Echo. So yeah, uh, going to be playing Pantheon today. It was a little bit random to be honest because I was planning to play Swain or Maokai and both of those champions got banned. It, that was really annoying, but I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll just look up like what could be a good backup plan. And it turns out Pantheon is having a pretty sick win rate right now. And uh, I remember playing a Pantheon game quite a while ago and it, like it went really well. Uh, let me see first what I actually should be starting. I should be starting with the Flask. Okay, it's still Flask. So yeah, the interesting thing about the Pantheon top thing is that people are doing the same build that they're doing on the like the new like the so-called new OP Korean build that people are doing like on pretty much everything now that can pull it off. So it's Yomu's Ghost Blade into Black Cleaver. But I mean, that's kind of what Pantheon always did, and that was always a very strong build because it is a, a build that really, it really like improves early early game damage, and that's exactly what Pantheon is. He's a lot of early game, and uh, yeah, like you you can pull off some sick stuff with this champion, and I've seen it myself in solo queue a few times, but uh, not too often, I will admit, and. Uh, I've always had like this really high respect for Pantheon. I do not want to mess with this champion during the laning phase. And uh, yeah, it's like kind of secret, but like he pretty much beats everything in lane. Like there's very few champions that can just like be like, haha, I beat you, right? Like he he's almost like, I don't know, like the AD LeBlanc, I guess you could say. Yeah, that's probably a good a good explain a er, good like comparison. Like he is he's so good in laning phase. Like pokes people all the time with his Q, which is a lot of damage and is pretty man efficient 45 mana and like it's just it's so easy to deal damage with this champion even though he's melee it doesn't really feel like it because his kill is like such a low cooldown and then when your target gets really low t thanks to your e spell 15 percent health and lower all your hits from from your q or auto attacks are guaranteed crits i believe it's also his uh his e spell itself too so yeah anyways i'm gonna be playing against echo which is right now considered like one of the top tier picks Okay, I decided to queue the minion because I wasn't sure if Pandy's auto attack was, was going to take it in time. I, I am also running bad masteries, or, well, not masteries, but runes, because uh, I did not have an armor pen page set up on this account, sadly. Uh, with armor pen, I'm sure, like, harassing is a lot better during laning phase. But it's okay, because, like, even with an 80 carry page, I think you should do just fine with Pantheon. Uh, let's pop my elixir here. Alright. Boom! Just be a threat. Just walk up to the person, hit him up like this, hit him with Q2, and if he wants to mess with you, it's like, okay, fine then. It's fine. No! Are you kidding me? Oh, please. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, it was middle that got first blood. Oh, I was like, why is he not flashing, right? Like, I can just kill him. And then when I flashed, I didn't realize uh, Echo had like that movement speed boost, so like he moved really fast. And uh, yeah, I missed my kill, and that was really sad because the, the ignite kill is really like critical since uh, you do not have teleport in this lane. Let's just go back to base and uh, look at what I should be doing next. Oh, so I am supposed to be putting a point to E as soon as I hit level three. That makes sense. The critical hit. Oh well, man, I should have waited with my all in till I hit level three because then the crits would take place, right? Oh, this this I mean this just shows like how inexperienced I am with this champion. Like I, I really just play Pantheon every now and then. But he's not actually that hard to play because like his skills are really straightforward. Like you point like champion, you you press button. Like that's, that's how simple it is. There's no like complicated stuff. The only complicated stuff I guess would be like the timing of the ultimate because uh, good and bad ultimates are de definitely exist when you play this champion. Uh, gotta be careful for top lane though. He is missing, but I'm back at lane so it's all good the great thing about Pantheon is that his base movement speed is actually ridiculously high I think he has the highest base movement speed in the game I might be wrong but it is pretty uh, a pretty powerful movement speed and this is one of the reasons why he's also like a good laner because he can just like he can get chopped to people and hit him with the spears just in time oh man that spear didn't come back to me sad part about the spears though the cue is that um they don't give you like mana refund when you last hit with them, like sometimes spells are. But I think that would like make Pantheon ridiculously powerful. Anyways, I'm here, so is Echo. Alright, let's focus on farming. Don't want to mess up things too much. Wow, 
N Nami was middle for way too long there, and still, like, Rice got ended up getting killed. It's really odd. It looks like my team is doing well, though, so I'm glad. Uh, Echo only got, like, a Ruby Crystal. Okay, I was worried that maybe he would get, like, a Claw Farmer, and that would be really annoying since I don't have any armor pin. Let's just auto-attack him. Hit Q as well. Side steps so that the Q, his Qs and hit us on the way back. Come on. Mmm. Yeah, that hit. Oh, that is actually decent damage. Oh, oh. Oh, please. Oh. Damn. <laughs> I, I did decent damage to him. He's gonna have to start backing out. Like, I'm winning in these trades because I'm using Pantheon. The lower my target gets, the more ridiculous my damage becomes. Well, if the target gets under 15. 15 health, that's when Pantheon starts auto winning a fight. And that's why, like, Fighting to death is like just really, uh, what's it called, incentivized when you're playing this champion. You want to go for all these crazy all-ins. The problem was I went for my all-in a little bit too early. You're, you're probably supposed to wait until level 3 before you do it because that's when you really start seeing spikes in damage when you get your target low. And I was just not able to get that because level the the E spell is very, imp uh, very necessary to get the, what's it called, the execution damage. Oh no, what? Oh my god, I really didn't think my mouse cursor was hovering over that. Let's get this. Oh, and by the way, I just want to apologize for yesterday. I kind of promised that I might stream, that that I could have been streaming yesterday, but ended up not doing it. I, I was like, just really tired, and I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't feel like getting like destroyed in solo queue by like, you know, troll teammates. So I, I decided to just call it a day off and not stream at all but I will try my best to stream tomorrow I swear I, I, will, I will try and make something happen because I know a lot of people enjoy it and uh, yeah I, I don't really like letting people down so let's do it tomorrow okay I don't know where the jungler is which is actually kind of scary oh wow my Q hits so hard that longsword really helps echo is so scared look at this Pantheon is so strong in lane if it's Jesus, nice. My team got the Nami killed. I don't know what she was doing all the way there, but... Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is not cool. Wait, wait. I can... Oh! No, wait! He had ultimate? How did Echo have ultimate? I don't understand this game. Oh, you're dead anyway. Alright. <laughs> okay, so I get ganked, but I still get the kill anyway. Okay, that's, that's, that's good. That's good. 1v2, still get killed. That's... That's so worth it for me. Now the shame is, uh, yeah, of course I died. But look, in the meantime, my team is doing well, and Lee Sin is taking Volibear's red. This is all so worth it. It's all good. All right, um, let's start building towards the the Yomo's Ghostblade, of course. Considering using my ultimate to return to lane, it is a lot of minions, but the ultimate has really, you know. It has a lot of power if I use it to gank a lane. Like, imagine just ganking Fist from behind, and like when he tries to all in or whatever, the rise, that would be huge. So, saving my ultimate in this case is probably smarter. Uh, something's happening, bot lane. Looks like Clown Fiesta. I hope not. Oh, here comes Jin ultimate. It is a little bit out of range, though. Unfortunately, he decided to be a little bit too far. I think I missed quite a few minions here because I was I decided to look at bottom, which I shouldn't have because I don't have teleports. It's not like I can ult from here to there. I'd have to move quite a bit. So anyways, uh, yeah, Echo's sudden level 6 did really surprise me. That was because he was in lane a little bit longer than me because of his TP. I totally should have taken that into account. I, I was really surprised when he ulted, but I was glad that I still was able to just kill him. What the fuck, my R bloked. Blokehead. Or what? <laughs> what? What is he talking about? Oh. The great thing about Pantheon, Pantheon is that it kind of reminds me of old Rice, you know, like the Q, like it's just, it's auto aim Qs, right, like you don't have to aim them or anything, they will always hit their targets, boom, look at that, and it's a lot of damage, so yeah, I guess Pantheon could be a little bit, you could kind of like say it's like a, an, a physical melee Rice, because the W does essentially the same thing, instead of Root, it actually gives you a stun, but uh, the only problem is that you don't have as much consistent damage because, you know, your cooldown doesn't get lower the more you spam a spell. If Pantheon did that, he would be so good. Holy crap. But, uh, yeah. Pantheon's damage tends to fall off towards late game. But this is why you build, like, so much armor pen. To make sure that, you know, even if, you, if it does get to late game, you'll still be able to deal damage to people who decide to build armor against you. Mm-hmm. 
And in this case, uh, Echo's only built health, so that's like actually pretty risky by him. Uh, it means he's going to be taking still a lot of damage. He's just going to be able to take a little bit more than most. So I don't know what Echo's doing here. Is he like teleporting or something? Is he teleporting to mid? What's going on? Is, oh, okay, no. Because I was like, why is he gone into the brush and not come out yet? And then I realized there he is. Alright, alright. So yeah, the great thing about Pantheon is that he can't just not be played uh, top lane, he can also be played mid lane. And what a lot of people don't realize as well about Pantheon is that ever since the on hit effects sh uh, chain has happened, uh, Pantheon is actually a really good pick in the Twisted Fate. Not a lot of people realize this, and this is because Pantheon's shield can now block Twisted Fate stun. And that is a really big deal in that matchup because the one thing that Twisted Fate could do against Pantheon as soon as he tried to get close is to stun him before he could stun you. Or you stun each other at the same time, but Twisted Fate stun card is 2 seconds flat, so like it would be longer. Meaning that uh, Twisted Fate could get away uh, for at least a half second after Pantheon goes in on him and you go at him with the gold card. You can't do that anymore because Pantheon's shield actually blocks on hit, and that's like a really, really big deal. Um, it's just, it blocks so much more damage, it, it blocks side effects from you know certain auto attacks such as Twisted Fate's gold card. And uh, yeah, it's just really—it's like a really big buff. I don't think Pantheon really needed that buff, but it definitely puts him in a, like a higher place right now in terms of like power. Um, okay, so that's Echo missing. I don't know where he could be. We kind of became passive in the lane. I feel like that was probably a mistake by me. Uh, oh, maybe I should have used. Yeah, passive was correct. I should have just waited for like level level nine so I could get my my level five Q, which is you know hard hitting. Um, uh, and the great thing about the Q spell is that uh oh, hang on, Mills in trouble. The great thing about the Q spell is that the the more points you put into it, oh damn, it's too late. Uh, it doesn't go up in mana cost. Like the mana stays the same, and that's kind of like where like the whole thing like, why does this panty never run out of the mana? He's spamming Qs on me all the time. Like th this is where it comes from. Oh, what's going on here? Hang on. Okay, I guess Echo got scared because he saw me leave from the minions. Unfortunate what happened middle. Couldn't really do much about it because I was just too busy focusing on the farmings. Hmm. Q still deals decent damage. Just keep spamming this thing. Such a low cooldown too. It's pretty nice. Look at that. He's already half health from me spamming my Qs. <laughs> this is so fun. It's like so simple but it's still fun. Oh, what's going on bottling? Please team. Keep it together. Um... Okay, so Volibear is around middle, bot side jungle. That's, that's okay for me then. Uh, okay, let's pop the elixir then. Let's ignite him. And let's just... Oh, come on! I was hoping I would get like a sick crit there to finish him off. Again, I miss a, a kill opportunity. Wait, wait! Flash WQ, that will be enough for a kill, right? I think so. No! Are you kidding me? Oh my god! I really expected more damage there. I hate this champion so much. Oh my god, I hate this champion. Whatever. I got Echo's ultimate, I guess. But 100% uh, Volibear's coming top lane. So I'm getting... Okay. Yeah, there he is. No, Volibear, don't do it. You don't have... What? Oh, that's right. My shield blocking on hit effects. Oh, I didn't realize that it would block the flip as well. Oh, I should have backed off so much sooner. As soon as I realized that Echo wasn't going back there, I, I knew something was off. But oh my god, it should have happened. It should have like clicked in my brain a little bit quicker than that. But okay, I got Jumu's Ghost Fleet now. That's okay, I guess. Let's see if maybe I can do something. Maybe do some roaming with this ult. I feel like this ultimate has been very useless so far. But that's because I've been trying to you know stay in lane to try to keep Echo in check. 76 farm to 94 farm. Obviously, you can tell who's like been winning lane, but that's not enough now that I've actually been killed by the Volibear. Actually, Echo didn't get anything out of that solo Volibear kill, so that's good. That's good, actually. I'm, I'm gonna go bottling now. I don't care. I, I'm going super ham. I mean, it is not me. It is a little bit dangerous, but let's go. Let's go. Oh, this could be so good. I'm going for the Nami. Mmm. And oh no, I thought I was clicking the lantern, but apparently I wasn't. Okay, we got a quick kill on the Nami. Uh, whoa, what is going on here? Oh, please tell me I'm gonna get some assists. Uh, okay, let's just go ham. 
<laughs> Finishing with a Q. Nice. Lee Sin actually blocks off most of the damage from the shield with that. Outplayed Kipo. Yeah! Alright, let's just go back to base. Um, let's see. Boost of swiftness, of course. I need to be fast. Put this guy here. I'm here. Mm, jungler's there. Middle lane is here. Uh, let's get this. Let's get also this. Oh, and let's get a long sword, of course. Towards the black cleaver. We lost the rift herald for that, but I think it's still okay, worth it. Uh, okay, Echo didn't get the rift herald. Nice. Uh, you go there, and you go here. Nice. Okay, this is how it should look like. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back to top lane. He's got a sunfire cape. I got Jumu's ghost plane boost of swiftness. Um, I think I should be able to beat him just because he's like running out of mana as well. What is he gonna? Was he planning to die me or something? What is this? Oh, what the? Okay, this is actually kind of bad. Oh my god, what the hell, man? Fist suddenly top lane? I hate this game. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the fist. I did think it was really weird that Echo you suddenly walked up to me to W. That was like unusually aggressive of him. But there was not much I could have done there anyway. Um, Echo's probably gonna ult back. Okay, no, because he got rooted. He couldn't do anything about that. Nice. My team punishes at least for them doing that crazy shit on me. Um, ah, oh, man. But with trash toppling, that means Jin is in trouble because he's on his own. Okay, I'm, I'll start moving towards bot lane then. Ultimate is in 10 seconds. Ultimate is in 10 seconds. Uh oh. Actually got some decent damage on the Jin. Sucks. Okay, okay, okay. My ultimate is ready. I think I'm just gonna like this here. Whoop! Oh, what? Okay, let's just kill this. What? Okay, whatever. I didn't think it would take that long to kill the Nami, but like she lasted quite a while. Nami even ignited me too. Nami no ignite, Esrul no heal. That that's good though. We got two summoners out of them. Oh shit, dude, this Volibear is so monstrous. Bro, ult. Oh yeah, Lee Sin has ultimate. It's kind of odd that he didn't use it. Oh, what? What happened here? No, wait, did Jin really stay when he had like no health? Oh man. Alright, let's get the long swords. I'm 2 for 2 right now, that's kind of shitty. Why don't you just save me? <laughs> Rest in peace, Rice. Alright, let's go to bottom lane. Uh, Black Cleaver is gonna be quite, quite a while. Uh oh, Lee Sin got a little bit too cocky in her turret. Decided to not respect the. Oh, what is this? Someone's teleporting the bottling. It's it's the rice. All right, let's just go get this guy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Just auto attack him. No way. Uh, okay. So rice decided to go for the. What was it called? The Nami. Oh man, this Rift Skull movement speed sucks. Oh, we're not gonna get him. Damn. I should have been following him a little bit better. I should have started walking towards that wall so that I knew that he could just like E over and I would beat it closer. Yeah, that was just me trying to be more effective with my auto attacks. I felt like no matter what happens, Rice is gonna get him, right? But then it turns out Rice decided to go for Nami, which I guess is okay. It's just. <gasps> Stun! Oh! CC! Oh, the CC! The hook into my W, into kill. That's great. Okay, let's go for the tower here. Oh, that could have been so good! Alright. Yes, we got the Nami as well. Oh shit, I'm dying. Team! Team, please! Okay, okay, okay. Can we get Echo? No, okay, he has ultimate. Alright, I'm getting. gonna get the hell out of here because I don't know my team. Grab the lantern! Nice! Alright, that was so troll. That was so good. Whoa, is my team fighting back? I, I got ultimate, so I should be like just moving back from this. Nice, they ended up getting that too. Um, Alright, let's start getting... What can I get? What is, what is best to get here? If I get this, I don't get to afford anything else. If I buy this, I can afford this. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. I don't think I really need the phage. Oh shit! Fighting. Okay, Jin gets someone there. I'm not in range yet. I can be in range with my ultimate soon. 
I'll be on the lookout, but it seems like they backed off for now, so let's just go back to top lane. Or wait, Dragon is up? Oh yeah. It's freaking... Oh man, I always feel so bad to go help out with a Dragon because when it's not Fire Dragon, I feel like it's such a waste to even go for it. It's just like small advantages that sometimes don't really matter that much. Like at least the old dragon it made sense because you were working towards like the huge advantage once you had a certain amount. Now it's like if it's a certain color, it's like why why am I even bothering with this? It's like such a obvious choice what you should be going for. But in that case when like your team is doing it anyway and the enemy team might get it, you just feel like compelled to like just help them out anyway. So you'd rather not let the enemy team have it. In this case it was what? Mountain Dragon. More damage to it to to monsters and towers. I guess the the towers bit is really relevant and monsters somewhat relevant because it does help you out in uh, dealing damage to like you know uh, Baron and uh, the last dragon, the elder dragon, which is like really tanky as hell. So I guess it's not that useless, but I don't know. Like I really don't like the ocean dragon one. Cloud dragon is kind of nice. It makes you like return to fights really quick, re not a lot quicker, but like it's it's a definite like increase in movement speed that you can feel. Uh, it, like it adds up the longer you have it, but uh, I don't know. The value of these dragons are clearly like not on the same level. Like the fire one is just so good. It's so good. It's like getting free items, right? Just having that damage increase. Should I use ult here? No, because it's just rise. Everyone else is not in position. It was so tempting to ult there though. It just felt, felt like a, the right moment almost. Oh, okay. Here we go. I'm going in. I'm, I'm gonna go for an assassination on the... on the... Oh, wow. Okay, hang on. Oh, please! Get the... Yes! Okay, we got the fist. That's all that matters. Not really, but you know. Uh-oh, I don't want to walk into that. So I'm just gonna go back here and get the pink. Alright. <laughs> I just did my, like, my number on fist. Like, fist turned around to try and get me, I think. But then I was like, no. And, uh, yeah, he got destroyed. I have lag spikes in TF. Chances are. <gasps> no! Wow! Okay, hang on. Stunned him there? Okay. Uh. Okay, this is actually not good. Okay. Okay, let's just pop all of our elixirs. Whoa, 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 whoa! Rice, what are you doing? Okay. He's fine, he's fine. If Eshel tries anything on Rice, I'll just walk up to him. Okay, we're, we're getting back out. <laughs> oh my god, I thought Rice was about to suicide there. Uh, what do we need for this? 1650, okay. Mm. That was close though, I was kind of worried that- Oh, what is this? What is this? Volibear is chasing down? Oh, oh no, it's still rip because- Oh, maybe not? Wow, Fist should have used like the entire length of that ultimate instead of like just a little bit like he did. Alright, uh, I should help Jin with this actually before like he gets invaded. <gasps> Oof. <laughs> the crits that you get for free almost stole that from Jin. I, I used to say I'd do it quickly because, you know, there's a chance that Fist just comes in and checks and kills Jin. So, with my help, at least it goes down like a lot quicker. Oh no, Stone the Elixir is not giving me this. I still need 40 gold. Damn it. Okay, I guess I'll wait. Like, it's just 30 gold at this point, so I can just look over the map. We don't have enough pink on the map for a 1321. Um. Yeah, but right now I need power, so let's just go for Black Cleaver. I think my next item is going to be the Hex Drinker into uh, Mal Malmortis. It's just, there's so much magic damage going on. Echo, Fist, even Volibear, a little bit Estral, and then of course Nami. Like, it's just so good for mag resistance this game. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do just that. With Black Cleaver at 30% CDR, my Q is on a 2.8 second cooldown, down from 4 second flat. That is pretty good. Okay, let's just go behind him. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Boom! Screw you, Ezreal! No! You're kidding me! No, you gotta be kidding me! He actually gets away from that? Oh my god, I really thought he was screwed. Oh man. Jin was here too. Couldn't he have used Ulted? Alright, whoa. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Lee Sin went insane. Alright, we, we got the fed Volibear. Was he fed? Kind of. Nice. Fizz gets the ultimate on trash, I think, by mistake. Okay, let's just get this. Volibear goes lol. Alright, let's just go back. Let's just go back now, please. Right, we, we might have to turn. Okay, I said 
we might have we might have to turn if Ryzen's caught there, but he didn't, so it's all good. Wow, that that hook was actually really close. What are we doing? We just walk walking back and forth. Let's make some progress. We just got mid in here. We're so close to actually finishing this. Well, not that close, but like it's definitely a big hit to the enemy team. Whoa! Wh what? Oh my God! Okay, down. If Jin was a little bit quick with the W there, that was like 100% kill on Echo. I would have been that quick. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I actually like Jin a lot. Still, like I thought, like he fell out of here. No, we're not doing Baron. Screw that. At least he was like bottling. That would be crazy. Uh, but yeah, I, what was I saying? I I don't think Jin is actually that bad at the moment. I thought he was because nobody was playing him. But I guess it's just people got sick of playing him or something. Because I was playing him the other day when I was streaming, and I was doing really well. I was actually surprised. And uh, like I won twice with him, and you know, it just felt not easy, but oh, hang on. Okay, I'm just gonna ignite him because I, I want to avoid. Okay, there we go. I wanted to avoid any bullshitty like survivals. Okay, let's go top lane. I'm gonna cover you, Jin. Don't worry, I got you back. I got you back. I got you back. Don't worry. Let's get this tower. Go, go split it up. There we go. That, act that dragon actually helps a little bit. It gives you that extra two damage every time you auto attack, and uh, that scales with attack speed. So <laughs> nice. Mm. Push top lane. Seems the most logical of choice, but oh, ah, oh. whatever. Wait, what's my team doing? Uh oh, they almost caught Destro. Oh wait. I'll ult here. Uh oh. Okay, god like we got him anyway. Oh I stunned him. Okay. Oh no! No, I gotta help the the gin! Just yeah. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Please get him! Alright, got him. Oh there's the fist. Oh nice. Rice just gets him by spamming his spells. Oh man, that was actually pretty close. We don't really have a healer, so we should got objectives. I gotta go. What? Why do you play a game if you gotta go? Oh my god. Uh, these are the worst kind of players that you can end up with on your team. The people that play with like real limited time. But maybe he didn't know until it was time to play that he had to go. Maybe it was like, you know, I don't know where. And I can't really blame him for that. Are we going, gonna go back or what? Like, I don't think we do anything as this tree. I have so much gold. I should be using this to get Hex Drinker. Yeah, I'm gonna go back right now. I feel so fast as Pantheon. Like, 450 movement speed is pretty insane. Feels like I'm floating around. Uh, okay. Um, Hex Drinker, Hex Drinker. Where is it? There it is. And I believe Long Swords is a part? Yes, okay. We're gonna keep building AD. Keep building, like, uh, Towards the Mammal Mortis, which is gonna be great. Um, okay. Wow, I'm actually kind of behind to the Echo, but as you can see, I've, I've been doing a lot more for my team, so I guess it kind of evens out in Goldwarf. What's with? Oh, he doesn't have life steal. He just took a huge beating from the red buff. Um, okay, so that's a uh, blue dra uh, ocean dragon, I think. Yeah, that's what I think it is. I'm not 100% sure. I should be using my blue trinket a lot more too. Okay, nice. Uh, what's it called? This guy's health actually got back up really quick. Are 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 they sneaking Baron on us? No, okay. I'm just looking at the map and I'm like seeing them around Baron, but apparently they thought we were a Baron, but we were actually doing Dragon. Oh, okay. Let's just go in here. Oh, please! Again, take two. Oh, another flash? No, are you kidding me? Oh my god, I'm ripped. What? What was this kick? Oh my god. Okay, whatever. We we get the Volibur. My life for Volibers, I think that's kind of okay. Oh man, I can't seem to kill this uh, this Estral. He just lives. Maybe I'm doing something wrong with my combo, but usually that, like, when Panjin goes in like that, it, it one shots almost, or one combos them. Oh my god, double AoE stuns. This is not good. Rice needs to go ham here. Or not. Okay, there we go. He goes ham on the fist. Nice. Alright, good job. And that's gonna be the inhib exposed again. It's gonna be inhib taken down for us. 
I'm gonna try and join up with the rest of my team. I got ultimate. I can do so in time. Oh, the enemy team surrenders. Okay. <laughs> Neko calls out the bad game. Hey, dude, you got help from your jungler. What are you talking about? Okay, so anyways, uh, that was my Pantheon gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it wasn't the best, but honestly, I really never played this champion. I just felt like playing him because I saw that huge win rate and I was like, you know what? I, I don't think I should have issues doing it, but clearly hitting level 3 first is probably a good idea before you start going for your all-ins. Like, until level 3, you're supposed to spam your, your spears, I suppose. Which is, I guess, a fundamental I need to remember from now on whenever I decide to play Pantheon because... Damn, did I miss out on the free kill if I just waited for level 3. But, uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It would be nice if you gave a like if you did. And if it's the first time you're watching one of my videos, you can always subscribe to me because I'm always trying to, to upload a new game every now and then. And, uh, yeah, uh, be on the lookout for possibly a stream tomorrow. Hopefully I'll actually do it this time. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. This has been me, Steve Boxers.